Hey guys, ViscosComb24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you all this. It is my compacted, once again, 10x10 vault door. So you can see it all opens, or closes. When I go to the back, it looks the exact same as the front. When I go back on over to the front and flick the lever again, you can see it will all open. The opening takes a little bit longer than the closing, but I'm actually pretty happy with the speed. The way that I wired up these quads makes it so that there's really delicate timings going on here between these sticky pistons and this entire mess of logic down here that wires up to the quads for the extension. I'm really really happy with the end result and uh, let's quickly get into the sizes. It's 24 blocks wide, 20 blocks tall, and 11 blocks deep. So I was only able to shave a block off the top and bottom of this design right here. This one is my first attempt at compacting the 10 by 10 vault door. This one was 24 blocks wide, 22 blocks tall, and 11 blocks deep. So this one had a volume of 5,280 blocks, while this one had a volume of 5,808. Only around about a 500-ish block improvement, maybe a little bit more. So nothing too huge there in terms of the size, but there was a massive change in the logic. Here are the quads that I used for the doors. This was the quad that I used in the 5,808 block one, and this is the quad that I used in the new 5,280 block one. The logic differences are pretty big. As you can see, just to shave a single block, I've had to make this extender look really, really weird in comparison to this one, which already looks weird. The logic of this one goes extension, 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 and then you have a torch underneath here powering that piston. For retraction, you have that retract and then just your average triple piston retraction. Then to flatten it, I put terracotta so that it wouldn't stick to the slime, causing push limit issues. Oh, there goes my battery. Causing push limit issues and problems with these pistons getting stuck to the doubles. This is the new one. It looks really weird and convoluted. And the way that it works is you have that extend, that extend, then a torch, move that to there, a torch powering right there, then a torch powering right there. For the retraction, you have to have this one depower first, and then that one depower, and then the rest of it can just be your average triple piston retraction with these to flatten. That little change made it so that this mess under here, <laughs> I mean, it, was a, it is a mess, was, re was necessary. I can open up the floor so you can get a look at what's going on under here. I'm not really going to be explaining it because <laughs> I made it a little late at night and don't remember everything myself, but you can gather the majority of what the logic is doing just from here. And, uh, yeah, that's why this one, <laughs> that's why I'm making an entire video devoted to this one, because I'm really, really proud of the bottom and the top with this new weird quad. The sides are the exact same as what I used over here, and I don't know if I can even compact the sides. To make these quints shorter is a project within itself, because this is the shortened quint that I've been using since I started doing the compacted cave doors. And I haven't been able to find a way to make a shorter one that isn't going to be, you know, ridiculously huge to wire. So, this is, as far as I can tell, just about the smallest it will get for now. And that's why I decided to make a video on it. I hope you all enjoyed this real quick video. Um, I know I did post one, a video on this thing that looks almost the exact same <laughs> very recently. But again, I'm really, really proud of the logic, so that's why I decided to make an entire video devoted to this. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm ViscosComb24, and I'll see you next time.